Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Capricorn. It is a general reading. That being said, it uh, may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. These energies could go vice versa. However, I do feel that this would be your energy with the Capricorn symbol being here. It's just <laughs> came right out of the deck just it, it's it's like it slid right out this is about being able to trust in your intuition again because you may not trust your own instincts at this point because of a, a past bad experience and that experience uh still what happened there still has a great influence over you and it is making you uh, unsure of, of the signs, unsure of the messages that you are receiving. And so um, in order to see any progress, you will need to quiet uh, your mind and listen and trust in, in the messages you're receiving because the seventh chakra Archangel Uriel is here along with a card of action. So this action, it needs to be uh, taken on your seventh chakra. Okay. So uh, the, this, this card indicates that right now, there is that open and, and free-flowing channel of information and inspiration from the spirit world. This is a time of great intuition and guidance from your higher awareness if you're willing to listen. And so uh, this is where action needs to be taken. Okay. Um, and if you want to see progress. Now this car points to the past. So this could be uh, see progress with regards to something that happened to you in the past because uh, you are here. Here's your card. You see card Capricorn and you are facing the past here. <clears throat> and uh, it could be uh, this 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 card indicates uh, somebody who is um, being stubborn about something. OK. And they are looking at this Western emperor. So this is someone who, uh, who has influence over them. Or this person here uh, um, caused you some sort of upset, emotional upset and grief. And that still has influence over you. You know, the devil is here. So you can maybe be feeling consumed by that energy making it very hard uh, for you to see these messages and signs you're receiving because they're it the your vision is clouded by your emotions so that is where action needs to be taken the third chakra is, is also here and and so the issues here revolve around uh, emotions of desire and your own personal energy. Okay, so um, the fact that it is here indicates that uh, it would be a good time to move forward and to com for the completion of your uh, towards the completion of your desires. Your soul is calling you to direct your energy in a very focused and purposeful manner. But it looks like uh, you're not moving or moving very slowly um, because of the emotions. Uh, perhaps um, the sun is here. So I, I think that whatever you're thinking, it's not as bad as what you think or that it's not what you think. You may have thought that somebody was 
deceiving you. And maybe that's a false, uh, you know, uh, vision. Maybe that's a, uh, an illusion with the devil. Yeah, see, the Eight of Swords is here, and it is in the reverse. That means that the upright came first. So you had a lot of fears because of uh, some past injury, and you are or were very afraid of being hurt again. Now it is here in the reverse. So uh, in the reverse... Um, In the reverse, if this is you, because it could be the other person, you could be thinking of going to clear this up, okay? You're thinking it, but you're not doing it. So you're thinking about a new beginning. You're thinking about this argument that took place and about your decision to take a stand uh, when it came to this relationship or uh, changing the status of this relationship somehow the hat speaks to the status of something it it speaks to a certain respect um, so maybe you feel uh, that this person disrespected you Again, we see the argument again, okay? Another argument here, argument, disagreement. You want to clear something up or somebody wants to clear something up with you. Maybe they want to clear something up with you and you're being stubborn, you know? They, maybe you accused somebody or thought somebody was sneaking around possibly, Or, if not sneaking around, that maybe somebody lied to you, you know, did something in secret. On clearing this up, we have the umbrella. So, uh, somebody may have withdrew to this place of safety from the storm underneath uh, this umbrella. But all around them, there's a lot of worry, you know. And so their challenge will be to come out from beneath the umbrella and uh, and to go and clear this all up. Looking to the past, the hermit is. He's looking to the past. He's took the star. So he took the star that was lighting the lantern. We have the lantern here. So he's seeking wisdom, seeking hope seeking direction um yeah um this is possibly to be able to clear the slate the magician is here so he is about um new beginnings reparation So whatever has happened between you here, that this emotional upset, uh, first of all, I feel like uh, emotions are running the show here. Um, I feel because the sun can soften things so much, um, I feel like it's not what you think or not what you thought. And I think that you will get this clarity. Currently here we have this, okay? And then we have the Fool, we have the uh, Ten of Rods where he's clearly really, really thinking um, and thinking about their options. This is about something that maybe, maybe it feels a little risky um, with the Fool. The fool is, uh, here he is. The fool is, uh, he's head over heels in love. 
with with someone and maybe at this point thinking of throwing caution to the wind you know I mean he's definitely has lost something here in this relationship because he's lost one one shoe you see that <laughs> so he's lost one shoe but look at him he still got his head up he still seems to be fairly happy and he's still very much in love you know so he uh even though he's all he's lost something he still wants to follow his heart even though he's his eyes are closed his head's turned away uh, he's afraid of getting hurt. He still wants to uh, walk or to continue walking along this path that he's chosen. And he still wants to take that leap of faith for love. And I feel like that is the one thing that he holds on to when everything else feels scattered and and the storm is raging around them he still even though he's lost some things and is heavily burdened he still wants to take this path you or them whoever this is and they're looking at the options to be able to do this someone is is very alone feeling very alone here in this uh, very isolated castle it is uh, surrounded by water it's on a little island and we also have the beacon so the beacon is also about options looking at their options but they don't really have the answers you know but their attention is here with this next card on getting those answers Okay, so this is somebody, um, this, this can be saying that uh, your path is lit and it, it's safe to proceed, okay? Yeah. So here's our page of wands. So even though it's like the fool kind of energy, even though he's lost something and it looks like everything is dead, he's in the he's in the desert staring at that tombstone at the hierof hieroglyphics there. Even though he's he's there uh, in that position and that everything looks really bad and stormy right now he's still interested <laughs> look at how he's placed that rod right up against that tombstone look how he kneels there he's still very much interested in bringing this back to life and now seems to be with all the hieroglyphics we're seeing there He's now paying attention to the signs and trying to read them. And that is what he was supposed to do. Um, maybe something he wasn't doing before because he was overwhelmed by emotion. And those emotions would have created the illusions that the devil can create. And so now, though, he's in a more positive energy, even if he is, even if he doesn't have all his answers, and even if he has experienced some loss here with a choice that he made, because this is somebody who made a choice and got burned, right? And so even though, even, even though those things have happened to him or her, they still want to follow this path because they are still head over heels. And so they're looking here. They're reading the signs now, something they weren't doing before. They're listening to their intuition. They're taking that action to be able to overcome difficulties with the Four of Wands. All right? That's, that's what they're doing. And, and she, the Queen of Wands here, okay, this is about, mm, she, well, she's very creative, but when, when she shows up, 
it indicates that somebody comes up with uh, a new idea with regards to your problem or your situation. So it could be that uh, this person is studying this, uh, these signs, and oops, now they're suddenly inspired, which is what the seventh chakra is about. It's about that intuition and inspiration. Okay, so they, they find something here. Now that they're finally listening... And they find something here, a sudden idea that, uh, or a sudden insight that inspires them, a new way. It, it shows them the way. It's, it's like a new way that presents itself, that shows them what to do by paying attention to the signs, to their intuition, and that's the message. It will show them what to do. It will show them the way out or a solution to their problem, uh -huh. to healing. There's temperance. It shows them where the adjustments are that need to be made, okay, uh, when it comes to that situation because that is the situation from the past. Somebody got really angry, you know, and um, probably lost a lot more than they bargained for. And so now, look at that. They're weighing things up. They want this commitment. This ring can be... Um, Perhaps them thinking about going another cycle. It could be coming together. Um, it could be that they're thinking of a long-term commitment. Um, marriage even. Um, but definitely, with that ring, this is something of great value to this person. And they, uh, they want to fix it. They want to overcome the difficulties, the problems. And, uh, and if they continue in this manner of listening to the intuition and reading the signs and following the signs, taking action on the signs, if they continue... They will, they will get to their desire or to the desired results. You have the dolphin. The gentle nature of the dolphin reminds you to look for the good in everyone and strive to bring peace to your life and those around you trust your instincts oh my god trust your instincts and intuition rather than overthinking things and that could be with the devil there a pattern for this person that they do tend to overthink things wow so that is what i have for you I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.